afternoon everyone. We are the group 8 and our assigned topic was to discuss the basic concept of neutralization, its medical importance, and the expected result on the experiment on antacid. The basic concept of neutralization. Neutralization is a type of chemical reaction in which a strong acid and a strong base react with each other to form water and salt. It involves the combination of H positive ions and OH negative ions to generate water. The pH level of the mixture or solution is defined according to its corresponding color with the use of a universal pH indicator solution or pH strips test. If the mixture becomes more of reddish, it is acidic. If it becomes bluish or violet, it means it is base. And lastly, if it turns green, it means it is neutral. Now, for its medical importance, neutralization reactions are used to inactivate viruses and evaluate neutralizing antibodies. In the immunological sense, it refers to the ability of antibodies to block the site on bacteria or viruses so that it will not be able to enter the target cell. A neutralizing antibody can also defend a cell from an antigen or infectious body by inhibiting or neutralizing any effect it has biologically. A subset of these antibodies can block Viral infection by a process called neutralization. Neutralization can also be used in different situations and our group prepared examples that are related in our future profession. First is to prevent coagulation of latex. In the rubber industry, ammonia solution is used to prevent the coagulation of latex because ammonia solution can neutralize the acid produced by bacteria, which is the lactic acid. Another one is to treat tooth decay or cavities. Most food particles are acidic in nature. Such foods produce acid in our mouth, which reacts with enamel or calcium phosphate and leads to cavities. Using toothpaste while brushing helps to neutralize the acid since toothpaste is a base. And with the connection in our experiment, to treat acidity or gastric patients. Acidity or gastric problems arise due to an increase of acid in the stomach. Antiacids or antacids are medicines containing bases, such as sodium bicarbonate and magnesium hydroxide that neutralizes the excess acid in the stomach. Let us now proceed with our expected results in the experiment on antacids. For a quick overview, antacid is a class of medicine that neutralizes stomach acidity and treats acid reflux and heartburn. Examples of this are milk of magnesia, Gaviscon, Cremil S, and the typical sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. For this experiment, we use Gaviscon, which is a combination of calcium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, and alginate. This particular antacid forms a raft on top of the stomach to prevent acid from flowing back up. Portion 1 is a mixture of water with dissolved Gaviscon alone. Its pH level is ranging to 8 to 10 and it is a violet colored solution. And antiacids are primarily bases that neutralize acids. For portion number 2, it is a mixture of water, Gaviscon, and HCl, which is a strong acid. Here, the pH level becomes basic. The antacid, which is the Gaviscon, neutralizes the HCl and it will start acting as a buffer if more HCl gets added. For portion 3, it is a mixture of water, Gaviscon, and NaOH. The pH level will become base because Gaviscon is a base and NaOH is a strong base. Mixing two bases together can't react to each other. 
And that sums up for today's topic regarding the concept of neutralization and its medical importance and the expected results in the experiment on antacids.